Why are we not talking about the ruched leggings? Why? Oh my God, it feels like an eternity since our last YouTube video. I have not forgotten about you guys, I promise. It has everything to do with my wisdom teeth. I got them taken out and it took so long for me to be able to talk without pain. Finally, I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. I appreciate the well wishes. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for the love. I'm back at it though, and I feel pretty good because we have some new Gymshark to talk about. Yeah. You know it's always a good day when we got Gymshark coming your way. You guys have been asking about the brand new camo. I got curious, I was like, what's up with this? Everyone's saying that there's been some changes, is this true? And all I got to say is, yeah. <laughs> we have some changes yet again. I feel like every single time Gymshark comes out with a brand new camo, it's always slightly different from the last launch. This proves to be just a little bit frustrating, not gonna lie, but then again, that is why we are here doing these videos, so you guys know what you're looking at. Not only do we have the new camo that just launched, but I am introducing to you guys a brand new Gymshark legging that I personally love. It's so random. It was a spontaneous buy when I saw it on the website. I was just scrolling through. You know Gymshark, they do random drops here and there. They won't even like let you know about it. Well, this legging that I'm about to share with you was one of them. I just happened to skim through and I was like, wait a minute. This legging looks like it has some potential and I just knew looking at it that I would love it. Let's talk about it right now, okay? It's the ruched legging. But hold up, before we get into it, you know the drill. Definitely hit that subscribe button. We have a ton more Gymshark coming your way. They're releasing all new power, so you don't want to miss out. Hit that subscribe button. And if you see anything you like in today's video, do know that I'll have it linked down below for your convenience. And if you'd like, you can feel free to use my code Ashley G at checkout. It does save you 10% off your entire Gymshark order, always. Also helps to support this channel big time. Let me know if you take the time to use it so I can show you some love. So first things first, we're gonna briefly go over the new camera camera? No, I didn't get a new camera, that's for sure. The new camo. Just going over what I noticed changed, and then we're gonna hop into talking about these new leggings that they dropped. A little more of an in-depth review there, because I really like them. So, these are the colors that I chose for the new camo. So I have black camo brown in the shorts, and soft berry slash sun-baked pink in the leggings. I chose these specifically because they were different enough. The other two colors that launched, I saw one had like a pea green color to it, wasn't too keen on that, and then the blue, which I've already seen before. Wanted to mix it up a bit. I actually thought this color specifically, I always tend to stay away from like really dark blacks. Sometimes I'm like, all right, it gets boring after a while, but this one, was so unique. I haven't seen this from Gymshark yet, so I was like, I'm gonna grab it. I also have the matching sports bras as well. We'll get into that in a second. If you guys remember my last Gymshark video, they switched up the material as usual. Things fit just too snug on me. The bras were insanely tight. The shorts, forget about it. Like, it was a major uni, but big takeaway here, I sized up this round, okay? In the shorts, the leggings, the bras, I sized up, because I learned my lesson. But the joke was on me. I don't know what on earth happened this material's not quite the same as the last launch. The shorts felt a bit snug around my thighs, even in the medium, but then the leggings were too big. The material, even though the makeup is pretty similar, this does feel thinner. I'm feeling like it's a little more on the thin side than the last launch. When I was wearing it, stretching around in it, it just they felt off. Don't get it twisted, it's very comfortable, it's very stretchy. It reminds me a little bit of the OG material, in a way. Very soft, things like that. But I was not prepared for this, or else I would've stuck with my true size small. If I could do it all over again, I would've stuck with my true size small in the leggings and not sized up. You can see the gape in the waistband, it just wasn't fitting right, didn't feel like it was hugging in the right places. But what's ironic is that the shorts fit me perfectly in a medium. So I'm okay with the medium here. <laughs> Still got a little thigh cinch, which I'm not too happy about, but I always get them in the camo though. Nothing new there. As usual, camo's very squat proof. So in case you're wondering, both were extremely squat proof, even in black underwear. In terms of the design, it's not quite the design that we saw last time. It looks like they went with more of a traditional camo, three-dimensional, you still have the jacquard design, so it's textured to the touch. If you look closely, I'm talking microscope close. Some of the pattern has a fine stitch to it, and some of the 3D camo has a heavy rib. Now we have seen this ribbing before, but not this intense. There's a lot of ribbing going on here. I sized up to a medium in the sports bras as well, and I'm actually super happy with it. If I was using my true size small, it would be a little too snug. These are really the same types of designs you've seen from the last launch with the lace up and the double layer. I did notice a bit of lipping 
at the base of the piece. Didn't bother me one bit. I would much rather have a little space to breathe than being so constricted like a, like a, like a bow and constrictor. Is that how you say it? Bow and constrictor. Boa constrictor. Whatever. Because in the last launch, when I went my true size small, I felt like I was getting bear hugged by Andre the Giant. I was like, <laughs> I sized up to a medium and all is good. So it's safe to say with the sizing here, we got a lot going on. Leggings, I would stick to my true size small. Shorts, I'm sizing up to a medium. Bras, I'm sizing up to a medium. That is according to my measurements. May be different for you. I don't know because I'm not you and I don't know you, but I'd like to. So drop a comment, say what's up, where are you from? So I grabbed one of the t-shirts cause I just knew. I'm, it's weird how like through the computer screen I just get vibes, you know what I'm saying? Where you're just like, that's gonna work. Yep. Yeah, so this was one of them. I just knew it had that stretch that I craved so much. You know, I'm very, very picky when it comes to camo tops, like accessories, like the long sleeve, for example, we're gonna get into a second. Short sleeve, I got my true size small, wouldn't have it any other way. It goes from high to low to the flow in the back. Not really low to the floor, but it just, it's a high and low, high to low. It is so stretchy, it is so lightweight. I just knew this would be easy, breezy to put on. Great little cover up. Lovely addition, Gymshark, great job. I would love to see more of this type of style. Whereas the long sleeve, now this may be great for a lot of people, but from my experience with Gymshark's long sleeve pieces, they're a little too thick. They're a bit too tight, too snug in some places, but not enough for me to size up because then it would just look a little too big in certain areas and it looks like a mistake. So I stuck with my true size small. Sizing wise, it fits all right. Did you guys notice the little uh, the strappy action that they, they placed on this piece? In previous launches, the entire back would be that lace design. I thought it was pretty cute. They took that away. They added in a, an entire arched hole. <laughs> <laughs> in the back and these very long strings, big long shoelaces, stretchy shoelaces. Now this is a two man job. If you wanna wear it like the gal in the picture online, you're gonna need somebody. Get your best girlfriend, your bae, your mom and dad, your dog, I don't know. You're gonna need somebody to wrap it around and tie it to the back. If you wanna just wear it as a basic bow tie in the back, good luck. They hang a little too long. It looks like you're, you're got a leash around you. So I mean, you really gotta wear it with the intention of wrapping it around your stomach. Now with that being said, with my short torso, it looks so funny. <laughs> I'm not meant for this style, but if you have a longer torso, this would look so sick on you. I'm jealous. In fact, if you have a long torso, I'm jealous of you immediately. I mean, between the sports bra having a little length to it and then the high rise of the bottoms, there's virtually no space for that shoelace to wrap around. Are you seeing this in the footage? It looks funny on me. It's okay, you can admit it. So yeah, I'm gonna pass on the long sleeve. The ruched sports bra, okay? You remember me raving about that bra from the training collection? I love it, I still love it. I don't really see it as often as I'd like to, Gymshark. But it's okay because they just came out with some ruched leggings now. I almost passed these up. I thought these were just another one of those randos they toss on the website. No one really talks about it, it gets overlooked. Something about these spoke to me and oh my. I'm telling you right now, no bull. You're sleeping on this legging. Let's start from the top. V waistband, ruched waistband. If you look closely, it's a very heavy ruche and then it goes down to just a more subtle stitch. I love this angle because it's not a heavy V waistband where it goes super low. There's no overlaying material that can get a little messed up when moving around. It's just subtle enough, but yet really highlights the torso. For gals like me, and listen up, if we have similar body shapes, you have a short torso, you wish it was just a few inches longer, this will do the trick, okay? It gives the illusion to the eye that you have a longer torso. I love V waistbands especially when they're subtle. So waistband is lovely, it is double layered. They did not go skimp on the integrity of this legging. You can feel the thickness right underneath the ruching. You have a dipped seam band, okay? This reminds me of the sweat seamless band. 
how it dips. I think it really works for this legging. You don't want a seam that goes straight across. It really brings this whole area together nicely. Here on the green, you do have a very dark green, heavy contrast, but on the black, it's so subtle. You can't even see it. It's just a shade of gray, very tonal. It is a very light support legging. The waistband has a light to a moderate support. You can feel there's a little bit of support here. When I really spread out that band, I felt a little resistance. It wasn't over the top because you know me, I don't really like tight waistbands. This absolutely was a perfect compression on me. True size small, it worked. I wouldn't size up or down. If you're in between, I would say size up if you prefer less compression, size down if you like a tighter fit. I really think you can go either way with this because it is so insanely stretchy. Now the material reminds me a little bit of Elevate, a little bit of power, training leggings, remember training? It has such a soft feel, silky smooth, definitely feeling Elevate and power more than anything, especially the back. Is this the back? Yeah, that's the back. They pretty much put the power scrunch on this legging. It's like the power and the Whitney scrunch all in one right here. Just like the power and the Whitney scrunch, you don't feel it. It's not intrusive. When I squat, it's not like it's a floss up my booty. It feels just fine. So even though you can see it, you can definitely see it when it's just hanging up here. You don't see it when it goes on. Maybe ever so slightly. You can almost see a little bit of ruching around the glutes. If you have large glutes, you will fill this out and then some. Your cake will be popping, girl, all right? I haven't been able to do hip thrusts in like a month. So my peach is just a little bit pruned at the moment, but don't get it twisted. I'm getting back at it, all right? I am going to thrust and trust that thrust. So if you're trusting that thrust, girl, then you can trust these leggings, especially because on me, they were 100% squat proof. You guys know, we review pretty much all of Gymshark here on this channel. You know how rare it can be to find almost 100% squat proof leggings. Like, it's pretty freaking rare. So when I do stumble across really squat proof leggings, I gotta let y'all know. So we have the subtle scrunch that's accompanied by a nice V seam. You know I love my V seams. The one and only thing about these leggings, they're long. They're so long on me. That's such a bummer. <laughs> My tall girls, you're behind the screen going, woo woo, I was hoping you would say that. My short gals, can't have it all, can we? We can't reach things. We can't wear leggings that are long. Also, perform the sweat test on these, and I have to admit, I'm so sorry that I don't know where my spray bottle went, so I couldn't give you an accurate representation, but I tried to do what I could, and from what I gathered, you will see some sweat, but it will wick very fast off your skin. <laughs> In the green, I mean, the black, you'll be just fine. In certain lighting, you will see cellulite. It's not bad though. For example, when doing the overlap, Bay said he did not see any cellulite, but when I was just walking around, checking myself out in the mirror underneath these lights, I could see some cellulite. So it really depends on the lighting. I call it situational cellulite. It's here and then it's there and then it's nowhere. I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I think that this legging was overlooked. That's just my opinion. But with what I really love in activewear, my specific needs when it comes to leggings, how I like them to look aesthetically, how I like them to feel fit and mold to my body and move with me. I think they did a really good job on these ruched leggings. Okay guys, so that's what I have to say in today's video. <laughs> Basically the ruched leggings have all of the qualities that I liked in past previous collections all wrapped into one. For example, the waistband swoop. Loved it from the sweat seamless, they added it into the legging. The power slash Whitney scrunch, love it, added it in. It's one of my favorite scrunches from Gymshark. I think this is one of the best Gymshark leggings that I've tried in a very long time. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I'm happy. Gymshark, if you're watching this video, two thumbs up, great job on this legging. I would love to see more. I think my gals, I think you guys are really gonna love it. So give it a check if you want.